Hey guys, Raphael here and um, amigos Rafael. Here we have a juggernaut. Okay, well you know who this guy is. I guess I'm gonna say there's a juggernaut. He is the, the this guy is huge. Um, so we're gonna get this guy together, paint him the way the client wants. Um, and just so you know, uh, it's a nice heavy piece. Está bastante pesado, but it's not solid. It's foam filled. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can see the foam right in here. Now this guy here came, vino, it had its own little pegs right under here. Okay? Así venía. So it would have been awesome to be able to just set them in. But it was not possible because this area here is actually pretty thin. So it just broke very easy. Se quebró muy fácil porque está muy delgadito aquí. What would be good is for this part here at least be at least half an inch thick of resin. That would have been awesome and this would have stayed in place a lot easier. Uh, so now what we need to do is once we put them together, uh, ahora lo que tenemos que hacer cuando ya esté um, puesto, put them on the base and drill a new hole to create a new dowel to, to go up right in the lake. Uh, so, uh, tenemos que hacer un nuevo agujero, bueno, por abajo, y este, ponerle un, este, bueno, uh, no sé cómo se dice, pero algo adentro para que se mantenga. Other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good, it's a nice, nice weight. Um, and you can put them on here now. The fitting here, that's the wrong one. As you can see, it's not, it's not flush. Oh, so there's going to be quite a bit of work in here. So I need to glue them in there and fill all this up with putty and create the, you know, the seam to make it look part of the what it is. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't fit snugly. Uh, the arms, what's going to happen here is I'm going to have to paint this area first before I apply the arms. Tengo que pintar esto primero antes de poner los brazos because once you put the arms in, there's no way you can get in here. No, no se puede pintar aquí adentro cuando se ponen los brazos. Uh, so, in reality, I need to get these guys together first. And once I paint all this part here, then we put in the arms and work from there. Alright, so let's get this guy going. Now, there's enough room in in the in where the uh, peg goes in where I'm gonna actually like I've done in my past videos is use resin to uh, secure it for the time being well actually not for the time being but to secure it and uh, then I'll just add the putty squeeze it in there we'll side is the resina para pegarlo which is quicker and I'm using I, I you know I put it in one of these guys a lot easier it's más fácil hacerlo por aquí smooth cast 300Q part A and part B I'm going to wait until I see it almost set. Estoy esperando para ver cómo se ve antes de que se, se seque. And I'm going to push this right in. Because you don't want to do it right away because it will go everywhere. No quieren hacerlo tan rápido porque luego se va por todos lados. Stupid fight. There we go. As you can see, that sets up pretty quickly. And you know, he's, he's, he's on there. So now what we're going to do is put the putty inside there and push it in. And you can, with water, you smooth it out. Con agua se desvanece. Okay, so I added uh, the epoxy. This is all set. Ya está todo esto listo. 
but when I was setting this here, which was normal, cuando lo, lo pon, ponía esto en posición, there was it was good in certain areas, estaba muy bien en ciertas áreas, but in other areas, there was a big gap. Entonces vamos a hacer uh, con el party para que no haya esa, esa abertura. So there was a, a gap. Once you put these guys on, there was a gap in certain areas. So I just added uh, epoxy. Puse el epoxy alrededor. Put some cellophane uh, plastic. And we're going to put this in position. And push down. To get a good seal and then we're just going to blend it outward okay once it's kind of smoothed out as best you can no necesario quitarlo you don't have to take it off but if it's uh, if you can you know you can and it's already there so you want to wait until I mean sometimes you can peel this off but it's always better to wait until it's completely hardened so that way you know it stays firm in the areas and you don't peel anything off okay so we'll wait for that to dry and then and we clean up the seams and get them ready for primer so once set this has now a little gap in here this should be touching there but since it, I had to modify it, it doesn't. Ya, ya como lo tuve que modificar, ya no toca esta parte allá abajo. So what I'm going to do is create the thumb. Crear el dedo con la uña. All right, we're going to start painting this guy. Vamos a empezar a pintarlo. I'm using FW acrylic ink. <laughs> Throwing some little darker color in here. A little purplish, un poquito de morado. I'm actually shading with the purple as well. Estoy dando la sombra con el morado. I'm going to do some shading. Vamos a hacer un poco de sombras. I think he needs a little bit of highlights. Okay, so now I didn't show, no enseñé, yet, but I just added the skin tone right now and I'm doing the spatter with some some red. Estoy haciendo las asticadas con lo rojo. Remember, I'm doing all the eight colors like I normally do. Estoy haciendo los mismos colores, ocho colores que siempre hago en mis videos. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it with some base. Vas a ponerle un poco de base. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the red, a little, do a little bit of modeling. Un poquito de lombricitas. Sorry, I didn't show the whole process on this project. Disculpen que no enseñé todos los detalles en este proyecto. Uh, battery kept going dead. La batería siempre se me andaba apagando. Uh, but anyways, you know, just uh, sprayed it gray and I'm just shadowing some some areas. Ahorita más estoy echando lo pinté gris. Estoy haciendo este ciertas áreas oscuras. Gonna go in with some lighter gray and then the uh, dry brush. Actually, I'm just doing white, so instead of the gray, this is working out pretty good. En verdad, nada más estoy usando gris, digo, este blanco, en vez de gris claro. 
All right, so right now I'm using a little bit of white dry brush, brocha media seca con un poquito de pintura. Okay, so we're going to add some dowels. You know, you already have the hole here. Ya tenemos el agujero del acivino. That's how it came. Uh, but, you know, to drill a hole where the leg was on the bottom of the foot, sometimes, you know, you're not sure if it's going to fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do is actually drill this hole all the way through. Lo que voy a hacer es hacer el agujero hasta mero adentro para estar seguro que va a entrar este, el, el, en, la, en la parte de, del pie. We're going to pour some 5 minute epoxy in here. Vamos a ponerle 5 minutos de, de pegamento. And we'll set them in the base before it cures so it fits nicely. Vamos a ponerlo en la base para que se seque en la posición que debe estar. Alright guys, so here he is. Aquí está, amigos. Yeah, sorry I didn't show the whole process again as the battery was running out on me and I needed to get this done quick. Uh, disculpe que no enseñé todo el proceso, pero la pila se me acababa y tenía que terminar esto en, en un determinado tiempo. This guy's huge and pretty heavy. Although he is, uh, you know, has a, uh, is foam filled, but he's pretty heavy. A pesar de que tiene la esponja adentro para darle uh, uh, soporte, este, está bastante pesado. Alright guys, till next time. Hasta la próxima.